Hey guys, welcome to uh, Abduct Complete, and uh, I've just been playing some Valhelm lately. And uh, there's a series coming up of all my gameplays from Valhelm from here on to the end of the game. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed Valhelm. Like, uh, you know, I think like I said in my other videos, my friend just kind of logged off and didn't log back in. And uh, he's just more into shooters now. And I t asked him, hey, can I at least, can you at least boot up the server so I like, get my stuff? And he just kind of grunted and, and uh, yeah, he didn't really give me an answer. But anyways, yeah, I made my own server. Yeah, so this is like... I made this server earlier this summer, or later this summer, Maybe like after July. Like I, I just wanted, I wanted a break from from you know the shoe grind. So I got back to Valhalla and I actually got got really into it myself because because uh, I knew the bosses up until Bone Mass, and that's why I kind of like set my mind to gonna grind up to. To uh, fight bone mass, and uh, you know, it, was like, it was like now and hours. So I just kind of uh, went and attacked bone mass, and you know I died like two times, but you know I defeated him. Like he's actually pretty easy, pretty simple. And yeah, I was like mine for silver, and this is how I take out a rock golem. Like, uh, he fell in my in my little uh, silver mine pit, so I'm trying I'm trying to take him out, and I do. And so far, they only die with uh, pickaxes, apparently. Yeah. And here's me in the mistlands between the mistlands and the mountain, and apparently, the mistlands are out now. Am I mistaken? I've heard about it. But yeah, I'm just like looking for for eggs, and I made my way to the the to the plains. And uh, yeah, the plains when you first go in there, be very cautious because th there's like patrols of goblins everywhere. And I like to say when you first start off in the plains, it was like trench warfare. Like you want to like build a trench around your your encampment, your outpost. So they can't get to it. And uh, yeah, let's go start taking out this goblin camp. And apparently, you could you could farm goblin camps if you don't if you leave them. And uh, I didn't know that, so I, I decided to you know, just wipe everything out and uh, you know take their stuff and progress the game. You got the the barley and the flax. So I'm using uh, fully upgraded iron armor, iron sword, Druger bow. And yeah, it's like to really fight the goblins, you, want, you just want to like flush them out and then start picking them off one at a time. And if you get like too overwhelmed, just run back to your uh, outpost. Like I really didn't follow too many guys. I, I just kind of like skimmed some and uh, kind of just wanted to do my own thing. Like I figure, you know, just a trench outpost would do the best because they just can't get to you at all. And then you're able to pick them off. Yeah, man. It's like these goblins were really, they, they really scared me. Like uh, now... After all, all this, uh, I, I could just take them on, like no problem. Except the the, the goblin camps at the uh, boat at the uh, final boss. Like they're they're a lot more tougher at the in the boss location, and they're like more more number two. So you really gotta be careful there. Yeah, I'm feeling really confident just walking right up to their camp. Just picking them off. And trying to draw them out again. You gotta watch out for oh watch out for those spear throwers. They're like probably the worst. They hit the hardest. They can knock you down to like halfway. Getting attacked by a mosquito. By locks. Yeah, 
Yeah, if you jump over to your base, it'd probably be the best. Yeah, they like their huts. I didn't see a mosquito coming. And apparently, if you wipe out a goblin camp, like, uh, you will trigger a uh, mob event, and that is, uh, you will be hunted by wolves. And uh, those keep coming in, in packs. You know, until, uh, uh, until, the, until the event timer goes off, which is like two minutes, apparently. But you will get a ton of wolf pellets, and, you know, that's pretty good. And this goblin tower, like, what is behind the lore of goblins building these towers? Like, can anyone explain why goblins build towers? And I had a hard time getting up here. I think I smashed the old, uh, I smashed the ladder. So I wonder how high I can build in Bilhelm. Like these guys, kind of like a real narrow. It's like the goblins take fall damage. No, he didn't take any damage when he fell. Did he? I, mean, I like piercing goblins. I like slaying goblins now, but you still got to be careful. Like, I wonder if they scale. That was a nice, nice kill. This guy slaughtering goblins. I'm gonna freaking build this workshop here and go explore again. Like. I think I'll keep exploring my old map and just take out goblins, you know. Because it's fun. I, it's fun slaughtering goblins. You know, I love slaughtering goblins. And I just gotta build up my potions and my stamina and my meats and stuff. But yeah, I've been taking a break, you know, since I beat it. And I just wanna share these moments with you guys. Yeah, here's the event as soon as you take out a goblin. Camp and I'm going, whoa, what's going on? And I turn around and I start I just gotta start running, so I'm gonna run away and just book it. You know, I'm I'm scared right now. I'm legit scared because I, I don't wanna die. Like came so far away with uh, all my gear. Don't wanna lose it. They're right on my tail. So I go in here. Go hide in the tower. Oh they're they're attacking the door though. They make short work of it. You know, I'm ready to go to Valhalla. I just give them hell as soon as they come in. As soon as they come in. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Yeah, it's a nice fight right here. Let's just start swinging. Doing everything I got. So that's Sadamo. Oh, yeah. That, that was a scary event. Like. Wolves, man, they just because they're fast and they just came out of nowhere. Like now, apparently, after the final boss, goblins will spawn in in the uh, black forest area. Like I still have have to, you know, test that theory out if they do. I'll look it up. Oh yeah, I decided to just keep running because it's saying you're being hunted, and the so the event. Still going on. And I lure them to these locks. Looks like they got taken up by the locks here and there. Yeah, look back just to make sure. Oh, yeah. Look, the locks are making short work of the wolves. By far. I think the event is off. I don't see you're being hunted anymore, but I just keep going back to make sure I'm safe. Oh, yeah, I'm safe. I think I, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to like take down this locks here and then he's like destroying the village. Trying to get that locks meat. It's like, what is the fastest way to take out a locks, you know? There's an arrow. Imagine having all your friends online just going, just going hunting for, for locks meat and resources just to kind of prep 
for the next update drop. Like apparently there's like a new update drop. Like for me, it's like not enough. Like I would rather have like a new world drop or something. Like the Mistlands, you know, they're supposed to drop apparently. And I think that's it. You know, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys later.